Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of our brand new stream encoders, the BG-Stream-E. This encoder allows you to take multiple HDMIs, different type of HDMI sources like a PTZ camera, and convert it into any sort of network protocol that you might need. NDI, Dante, RTSP, RTMP, and so forth. And today we're gonna to be uh, doing a little demonstration on how specifically how to convert this camera into a Dante source. We have a lot of other videos on the NDI as well as the RTSP and a more deep dive about the stream encoder. Um, but today we're just gonna be talking about just st strictly how to convert that to uh, Dante and add it into your computer with no problem without having a Dante camera. First things first, let's go over our setup. As you can see, we have our BG Adamo 4K camera. This is our non-NDI or non-Dante camera uh, for testing purposes. I have an HDMI out going into to the stream dash E, just HDMI input on here. This is a uh, PoE, which is really easy for setup, so you don't need additional cables. I just have it powered by an unmanaged network uh, network switch off the side here. Also, it's connected to our local network. Uh, this unit is also DHCP enabled, so it automatically pulls that local IP, makes it really easy for setup. Um, and so also we have our laptop, who is also connected to our local area network as well. So everything, we just gotta log into the web GUI and make sure everything talk to each other very nicely. So let's go do that. All right, before I log in, I need to find the IP address. And so through a uh, simple network scan, I, I found that the IP address that it was assigned to the encoder is 192.168.10.144. That's just local to us. Um, you can simply just do an IP scan based on maybe the MAC address or your local network and see what IP address is assigned if you do choose to use the DHCP option. Um, so log in here. Uh, Username is admin and password is actually four zeros. One, two, three, four, and boom, we are in. And first things first, uh, we got our video source confirming that we want to do HDMI, that's the only option, but um, this allows it to kind of uh, create that handshake. And so once I do that, sometimes it's gonna require you to uh, reset it on the initial handshake. We already did that um, on our initial setup. So I'm gonna go down here to status and it'll show you that our Video source is connected success successfully uh, at uh, 1080p, 60, and we're good to go here. So, kind of go briefly through the settings here. We got our source, also encoder. If you want to encode the settings, if you want to like lower the resolution, change the frame rate, and so forth, you could do that here. Um, but more importantly, streaming. So I was actually already on. I'm gonna turn it off for now. So as you can see, uh, we, the biggest thing is we want to change to streaming in the main streaming, the stream, uh, the stream type. So as you can see here are all your options. Like I mentioned, RTSP, NDI, uh, RTMP, SRT. But today we're gonna be focusing on Dante AVH. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And to start the streaming, once you hit apply here, you just have to click right up this toggle, toggle the switch on and it'll get whited out. That means it is active. Um, but while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and you know we go through briefly. As you can see, we have our network. Uh, it's DCP is enabled. The static out of the box IP, if you do, do choose to do uh, static, is 192.168.1.200. Um, but that's uh, if you decide to go that way or out. And then you can see all these other settings. It's just the, the basic uh, setup. You got your system settings, firmware updates, factor reset, user settings, and then our, we already did our status. So um, now that we are already streaming here, I'm gonna go to my Dante controller and double check everything is good. Actually, I already had it open. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger. As you can see, uh, I got uh, device info. Uh, we have a camera on the network, on a different network. That's why that's there. I'm gonna actually uh, refresh this whole page. There we go. And it looks like we are good. We got some green lights, network status. We are good. We, all, all I care about right now is our laptop and then our Dante source. All right, routing, here we go. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go ahead and link these up. Create a subscription, a subscription, as I like to say in Dante. And I think we just click on these two right here. It should just get some green lights. Yep, boom, green check mark. And so now I have the video stream coming in. I'm just gonna go to the Dante video viewer just to double check our feed is good. And boom, there it is. 
as you can see, we are looking at our beautiful office plant. Old uh, greeny there in the corner, old true faithful, always there when we need it. Um, but you can see, if I wanna turn it off, just unlink these and, it, oh, it did too fast. There it goes. <laughs> and it's off. And then I could turn it back on very easily. And there you go. As always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave them in the comments below. Love to hear from you, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you have any technical issues or networking issues, hit us up at support. Uh, we'd love to help you get over any of those speed bumps that you are, are, are facing um, and get you all connected successfully. Also, if you have any questions how this would be a great fit for your environment or how can you utilize this in um, any other situation, hit up at any of our sales associates. I'm sure they'll love to talk to you about uh, how this would be a great fit for you. Uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these to so be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, have a great day.